Well, it is pretty dark here on Cleveland Drive and you might not see it at first, but you can definitely smell it. In fact, this is part of that area where the 70 gallon spill happened and it is still a mess. Just look at this red container. That's where the feces was contained and it's tossed along the side of the road. Now, obviously none of this has been disinfected, but further along the road, if you continue, you can see toilet paper and other paper hygiene goods. Neighbors say they just want all of this out of here. Feces fiasco in Punta Gorda. It was real clear right at, at the start that it was feces of some sort. Dumped along rural Cleveland Drive where neighbors like Howard Grace still see and smell daily. I can't fathom why somebody would, would drive down another person's road and dispose of any kind of waste, especially human waste. I mean, there's biological factors at play there. That's just dangerous and it's mean. Charlotte County deputies arrested 64 year old Kevin Smiley Monday after they say he never stopped to report the spill or clean it up. He made a mistake. He should have went back and cleaned it up, but he didn't. He panicked. Deputies say Smiley picked up a side job to remove septic waste from a home on Quail Drive. He used his employer's truck to transport it who says he never authorized the job. And he has no permission to use that truck, never has had any permission to use that truck for any extracurricular activity. I don't condone nothing he's done. While disappointed in Smiley, he remains employed, working to fix rental properties. I have no difficulty with any work that he does for me. Five days later, neighbors still wait for the remnants of the spill that still linger to get flushed off their street. Who's liable there? I mean, who's whose responsibility is it? In the meantime, we got to deal with it. And Smiley has since bonded out of jail. The sheriff's office says he is financially responsible for cleaning up this mess. Now they are working closely with the health department to figure out how to get this out of here as soon as possible. I'm live in Charlotte County tonight. Nestor Montoya, ABC 7.